Hello everyone, my name is Ali Roosberg and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this image. So let's get started. In order to create this image, first we need to create the fabric on the car. To create this, we need a software which can simulate the behavior of the fabric on 3D objects. Hopefully, there is a fabric simulation software out there which is called Marvelous Designer. You can download and use it for free for 30 days. In next step, after we create the fabric, we import it into Keyshot 3D. In Keyshot, we give material to the objects and we set up the lightnings and camera for a good shot. In final step, we use Photoshop for enhancing our image by adjusting highlights and shadows. We additionally add some effects to the image for more eye-catching results. First, we need to import our model by going to File, Add, and Avatar. For faster simulation, I have created a simplified model. This specific model has no interior part. By clicking on rectangle button, we are going to create the base of our fabric. Before starting this first simulation, make sure the particle distance value is set to 20. Higher values result in faster but less accurate simulation. This button here starts the simulation. You can always drag the fabric in simulation mode if you see these unnatural results. As you can see, there are so many bugs here. And to fix this, you need to spend some time. As you can see, there is a gap between our fabric and our car. As you can see, there is a gap between the fabric and the car. To have a better look, first we need to stop the simulation. Then I click on the model and change the value of skin offset to zero. If you notice, you can see our fabric doesn't have a good look here. To fix this, I'm gonna lower the value of particle distance.
I have already materialized my model. If you are not familiar with how to do it, there are a bunch of videos on YouTube and they teach you how to do it. But I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. I try to focus on lightening the scene and a little post-production in Photoshop. I start with importing the fabric that I created in Marvelous Designer. Make sure the up orientation is set to Z and use the same unit used in Marvelous Designer. I'm going to use this material for the fabric which you can find easily in Kishad library. For a more natural look, I believe I have to reduce the scale value. To start lightening the scene, I prefer to use an all black HDRI. And let's add some light here. Okay. The next step is to add the geometry. I set the material of the geometry to area light. Let's change the cover of the light. We need to have another light source, so I add one more extra geometry I change the material of this light source to area light and change the color to white. You can always fine tune the position of the light source in geometry view by using these handles. Maybe changing the light material to spotlight can make a more dramatic scene.
this is the material that I'm using for ground I want to show you the material graph as you can see it's not complicated at all this concrete texture is downloaded from Keyshot cloud library I have used this texture as diffuse map and alpha map a color to number node is used to give my diffuse map a good contrast By using this radial gradient alpha map, which you can simply find in Kishat library, I have faded the borders of my ground. As a final step, I like to change the dimension of the image for the symmetrical look I make a few adjustments to the position of the camera I'm trying to find the front view. Yeah, that's it. You can always use the grid tool to make sure you have a symmetrical view. Let's see how the headlights behind the fabric looks like. I think we need to reduce the transparency of our fabric by clicking on weave pattern and increasing these values. You can simply reduce the transparency of the fabric. For a better look, I go to environment tab and add some spotlights to my HDRI.
When you are satisfied, you can go to Render tab. Make sure the output format file is PS16 bit and all these render passes are checked. In this case, I render the scene with 500 samples. Okay, this is our final render. This is 16 bit PSD file. And these are the render passes. This one is the ambient occlusion map. It's always black and white. I usually change the blend mode of this layer to multiply. This one is shadow map. I don't use it here. Same thing about refraction map. It doesn't give me any extra information in this particular render. About the reflection map, if you change the blend mode to something like linear dodge, it gives you more shinier look in bright areas. So I create a layer mask and pick a very soft brush and I lower the opacity. I only want to have the effect of this layer on the grill, so I prefer to mask out the headlights. Okay, I think that's fine. It seems like this lighting pass has only effect on BMW emblem, so I prefer to change the blend mode of this layer to something like linear dodge. And maybe lowering the opacity can give it a better look. In this particular render, I change the blend mode of raw pass to screen. It brings an overall contrast to my image. This one is Clone Pass. It's pretty handy. You can always select any object in the scene. In this case, I like to increase the exposure of the ground. So I need to isolate it first. By having the ground selected, click on Exposure Adjustment Layer and increase the exposure a little bit until you find your desired look i like to do the same thing for the grill so i go to clown pass layer pick magic Land tool and click on the grill then i go to layer click on similar to select the whole grill now i create a new exposure adjustment layer i think it's better to reduce the gamma a little bit now let's increase the exposure Okay, I, I think that's too much better. I think I need to reduce the opacity. Okay, it's perfect to me. I press Ctrl Shift E again to merge the visible layers on a separate layer. Then I group the rest of layers. 
now I want to use the, the dash tool and change the mode to mid-tone because I like to bulk the reflections on the car I already used the size of the brush because I think this way I can have better control over it if you don't see any changes you can try different mode of this tool now I simply tap on the reflections. If you like to darken around the image, you can duplicate this layer, select a black soft brush, and reduce the opacity, and start painting over the image. I duplicate the last layer, then I go to Image, Adjustments, Shadows and Highlights. I reduce the shadows to 0% and increase the highlights to something between 70 and 80%. Now I press Ctrl Shift E to merge the visible layers on a separate layer. Then I go to Filter and Lens Correction. On Custom tab, you can add a very nice glitch effect to the whole image by increasing one slider and decreasing the other one. If you zoom in, you can see that color shrink. This way, it feels like that we are taking this picture with an actual camera. Thanks for watching this tutorial. For more helpful content, don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell to get notified for the incoming tutorials. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you find this helpful, give it a like and share it with your friends.